This is the Maxpedition Last Resort Tactical Anti-Shake Case. I got this back in 2012, uh, so it's a couple years old, and other than being a little dusty, it looks exactly the same as the day I bought it. So let's go over it real quick. Um, back in 2012, here's the two D-rings. It came with a shoulder strap, two-inch padded shoulder strap. I don't use it, so I don't have it. Um, but I've heard now it only comes out with a one-inch strap. I don't know. You'd have to check with whoever, check with Maxpedition or whoever's selling it. So you got a nice rubbery thick handle up top with the extreme Velcro, <laughs> two handles. And then here you've got these two little adjustable straps that you can carry something in. Um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm not quite sure. They're you know, oval shaped, maybe an umbrella, maybe a, I don't know, tripod, monopod, something like that. Not quite sure what you would carry in there. Maybe a flashlight. Um, on either side of the bag, you have water bottle holders. Um, this one has a drain hole, and it has an adjustable strap. I'll show you that when we get into the bag. And then on the front of the bag, you have this nice pocket here. It's eight inches tall. It's three and a half inches wide, and it's an inch and a half thick. And you can fit a variety of things in here. Those big radials will fit in here. I just have some office supplies, some cords. I have uh, the mouse for my laptop. And then the two smaller pockets are three and a half by three and a half by an inch and a half deep. And I just have a, a stapler. There's some staples, my work IDs and stuff in there. And then the next one, this one's got a nice little little grab handle here with the Max Edition name on it. The other ones don't. This one's just a staple remover. Nice little pockets. And then the big wide one is seven across. It's four inches high and an inch and a half deep. They're all an inch and a half deep. And then I just got a couple of books and manuals for work in here. And then on the other side is the other water bottle pocket, but there's no drain hole on this one. And then on the bottom of the bag, it's got that nice rubberized padding. You see the drain hole there? No drain hole there. So that's the front of the bag. Now let's go inside the main bag. You got your YKK zips with your paracord poles, standard Maxpedition. And this main pocket is 13 inches across, it's 3 inches deep, and it's 10 inches high. And, you know, it's a nice, nice big roomy area. Um, it's, I'm able to put a, it's, you know, it's not a large anti-shea. Um, I had the operator one, which is quite large, and it held my 17-inch laptop. But I decided to downgrade into a smaller 13-inch laptop. I like the portability. You know, I wish I could have even got a smaller one, but um, I needed some of the features that came with this one. So, and the inside of this bag, it's padded on both sides. And it's big enough for some files. And then, let's see if we can see in here. There is, here's the cord that you, and there's a little um, push button buckle here, which you can adjust which will stretch that out really far so you can you can have that really out here like this or you can pull it in with that cord there and shrink when you're not using the pockets and shrink them in and then just use the little button there to tighten them up and then also on the inside here of the main pocket you have a removable velcro admin pocket so you got a couple of slip pockets one bigger one, for example, I have a CD in here, and the other one I have a little calendar, and then you have the Velcro on the bottom, and then on the back side, you know, typical hook and loop, um, so you can either hook a bunch of you know accessories in here, maybe an extra pocket for organization, or um, you could also use it as concealed carry and put a little holster deal on there, and that's the divider for the inside of the main pocket and you can take it out too if you need more space and to put more files in or whatever you know or if your laptop's a little thicker 
And then on, uh, on this side of the bag, it has a little snap for your paracord poles to, to kind of keep people out of there, which is nice. And then on the back of the bag, Max Edition, you have another padded pocket. Zips about halfway down. And this is padded here. And then you've got some room in here. And I'll take out these little... And you can actually fit your laptop in here. And as you can see, same as the inside, there's about an inch, maybe an inch and a half left wiggle room. So you couldn't go much bigger than a 13 inch laptop. Depending on the brand, they're all kind of sized a little differently. This one's actually a foot across and eight inches high. So it's nice to have the option to put it in the back or to leave it in the main pocket. In case you need more files in here, you can you know put this here and have more files in the center or vice versa. You can put the laptop in here for more protection. And if you only had a couple files, put them in here. So the versatility of the pack is really nice. You got a couple of slip pockets here that go in pretty deep. And then you got a main slip pocket in the back. And I just have some pens lined up in there. Um, it's a re it's a really nice pack. It's really uh, not pack. It's you know a briefcase. Um, I like the fact that they're padded to really protect your stuff in each of the main pockets. You know the nice zippers and stuff. And then on the front of the bag again, you have this D ring to hang stuff, or it's also for your hidden pocket. There you go, which is for con uh, concealed carry. It has your two two different sections of hook and loop, so you can put your hook and loop holster in there for your pistol. Or you can just use this if you don't carry, um, you know, for anything you just want to keep hidden, you know, but have with you um, and not be in sight when you're opening and going through the bag in front of people. So it's nice that Maxpedition has these little hidden pockets on most of their bags. It's a really cool feature. Um, and this has been a really good briefcase. It's been very durable. I've poked holes in the thing and it, the holes haven't gotten worse or they haven't frayed more than where I've poked holes in them to put my put my little badges and stuff that I have on my bag. Um, so you, And you got a little hook and loop feel here so you can put your your morale patches here. I like this one. It glows in the dark. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So you know in the water bottle pockets too they're very versatile. You can use them for water bottle or actually I use them to store the power cords for my laptop in here so it frees me up space in the inside and I don't have those cords getting in the way. So that works out really really well. It you know, it's a really made pack or briefcase. And like I said, I've had it two years, it's in great condition and I'll probably keep it until it falls apart. And then my laptop will probably fall apart before the briefcase does. <laughs> So, hope you enjoy the video, hope you're enjoying great gadgets and gear, and thanks for watching.